everybody welcome back we're doing another marvel future revolution video in this one we're going to be talking about companions updating our list as far as i like to focus on the um group pvp settings so whether I, i'll probably say like alliance war or omega war or dark zone situation i'm going to go into that a little bit uh i might dabble in and let you know a couple that i think are good for solo type situations so we're going to go through basically the top eight you know you call it top 10 list but really i sort of stop at eight at this point i'm sure as we get more companions in the game it will become a top 10 list but for now it sort of is what it is if you're new to the channel check out the discord link in the description below best way to sort of chat uh follow along with any other future content Comment below. Let me know what you think your list is, why you've got certain ones above or below mine, or where I maybe made a mistake in something in your point of view. Because uh, I'd like to hear people's experiences. Uh, hammer down like button, click notification bell, subscribe, all that sort of thing. And let's get into the list. Bring me Wolverthor. Okay, so we're in game. We're just chilling in Sakaar. I don't know what you're doing there, Black Widow, but we're going to go to our companion list. So we've got a whole bunch here. You can probably tell some of them that I've got lower. You know, I, to me, common. Let's not waste our time talking about those. We've got some uh, specials and rares. Uh, you know, specials are really the, the, really the ones you're going to focus. I will say that we do have one that pops up on our list. That is a solid solid rare but at the bottom of our list we still have ultron um i think then this is the eighth on the list that's where i'm starting so he could probably bump up i still love him in a lot of certain circumstances i want to raise him higher he's one of three that i use so i think but for a lot of people um i really look at this as sort of a solo situation with ultron so when I'm looking at a big group setting, I'm not necessarily going to rank him high. Um, you know, I will say that, and this is credit to Newfin, that you can use something like an Ultron in between, like if you other sort of evades, might be able to fill gaps there. But I, I've got him at number eight. Uh, it is a nice self-survival type situation. Coming in at number seven, I've still got Cersei. Her defense down, um, you know, is really, really solid. Uh, you know, when you're looking at uh, bonus upgrades here, I love that the game now shows this. So you can get some movement speed. I mean, that's some decent movement speed when you've got her equipped. It's like, all right, range damage. I don't necessarily like that. I don't need it. Her skill, the defense down here for me is the big winner. I like uh, being able to do that. So uh, that's pretty key. Cersei... Do I use her a lot? Nah, not really. Uh, you can combo her with some other things. Uh, if you've got your teammates lined up, if everything lands, it can do some good wombo comboing. Number six. Number six. Vision. I mean, he is still a solid um, companion to use on here. Stat Actually, and you know, before I didn't show this while I was on Ultron, but uh, critical damage. Because he is a rare, he only gives one. So... Uh, you know, you want to get those double stats with specials for sure, but critical damage. And again, it's only 4.25%, um, uh, you know, when you're at five stars. So, you know, we'll see how that increases. It goes higher. Uh, all right. And then obviously I, we, we talked about the, the barrier, but, um, I did want to click on that. So I didn't forget. All right. So Cersei, we got vision, uh, vision, 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 bonus effects. We've got critical damage decrease and range damage decrease. This is actually really good. Uh, I would recommend maybe using this in PVP type settings uh, when you're looking at it. Uh, I, I do like those stats there. They're, they're pretty solid. Again, when you get to five and six star, it's not there before that, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, his uh, actual skill, it's gonna decrease nearby al uh, allies damage, which again, this can be really good in a group setting. I sometimes think he's probably better than the person I've got in the next spot. I don't know. It depends what you're trying to do here. Sometimes you want to go pew pew. Sometimes you want to put your shields up. So between him and the spoiler Athena, who's next, um, that's where you're going to sort of have to decide between the two of those. So he's going to shoot a big, uh, big energy ball out there and, you know, defend yourself a little bit. So I got a uh, uh, vision there at six. I already mentioned Athena uh, coming in at five. Her bonus stats when they come in defense pierce and critical damage. This lines up with why you'd want to use her. This was good, good selection by Netmarble as far as what stats to have on her. 
when you get to five to six star because if you're going to use her you're going to want to use the attack buff and these two things do that even more so uh, i i do like her at a high damage there it's pretty nice or as a damage character when you do use her she does damage and gives you an increased attack so i mean she's got attack written all the way in the board which makes sense given that she's like essentially the goddess of war right so you know coming in at the five mode again i don't i mean part of the thing i don't love about some of these uh, companions is war is very dynamic meaning that you're gonna have to move around a ton so when i'm sitting here running around i i can't drop thena and just sort of like all right i'm gonna sit here and wait come on thena give me my buff come on thena give me my buff there are times when i'm fighting pve bosses where i'm like okay just give me the buff already like let's go um i wouldn't mind if you know there was a delay to the buff but to like sit in a specific zone for a little bit sort of becomes like all right well i'm gonna come at you in that zone now and you might have to move out of it so uh athena big fan of that now gilgamesh is next for me at four i mean i i still like him um but i wanted him to do more i don't like his five star buff here i mean frankly because his skill in my opinion doesn't really line up with it very much it's like oh, gosh man i could see him sort of dropping off a little bit but i will say that when i get gilgameshed in a group setting it stinks 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 because he hits the guard ground or hits the ground pretty hard and stuns nearby enemies that's a group stun you know so he can actually swing a battle a little bit there if that stun lands i just wish i mean i could see him falling off eventually because it can be a little bit easy to avoid that stun and as people get the five to six stars those stats i think are going to be a little bit underwhelming so that's what we got for number four number three new to the list who i have not built up yet spider-man so uh this was interesting uh increase or add to the game it was obviously part of the movie uh i think that they did this to sort of like make the game a little fun give you a little hero collector aspect to it the stats that he's got in here i mean if you're spider-man i think you're definitely liking the dodge rate range damage decrease I think everybody's going to want some of that. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I don't know. I, I, I'm i a little... I don't love the stats, but, you know, I could see a Spider-Man loving the stats. His skill. So I could actually see him... I, the, my notes on this basically say it's sort of conditional. I think that, um, you know, if... There's a big part here. See this reaching max, down, max stack count? So when he cocoons, that's what... Um, it's going to help pin you down. It's going to be more CC. Uh, I think that the stacks are like five or six. I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, shout out to cool up my guy. Love, love, love you, fam. Um, but it's around that. So like the more stacks you can get, that's pretty big. So if you're a Spider-Man using a Spider-Man and you want to get more stacks and you get people cocooned, that can be huge. So for any Spider-Man watching this, I would highly recommend at least trying this out. I'm not a main on Spider-Man, but he would be somebody that I would definitely be looking at using for that alone. He also decreases people's movement speed and their accuracy, which again, as a Spider-Man, you want to reduce that so you can dodge like crazy. So I could see Spider-Man being a top notch for Spider-Man. Overall, I do have him as third in the game, uh, mainly because of... Uh, if if his cocoons can actually land depending on how much he hits but the movement speed and accuracy i kind of like it so conditional three but not too bad okay next up we have our former number one our former number one is yandu uh i still like yandu the xp gain i don't know i mean if you got it up to five, i don't know if i'd get it up to five stars for that um I'd use it sort of naturally by the time I get there, or, and I think a lot of people are going to get there. I mean, how much leveling are we going to really care about? You're probably, you know, got so many high cards and badges that you can throw on new characters that you're not necessarily going to care for that, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I don't know, but he is an absolute must for leveling characters. Movement speed, okay, that's not bad. Again, I like movement speed, but uh, we'll see if there's ever a movement speed meta out there. So his skill is really where it lands for him. Now, if he can be paired up with the next character which you probably already know who it is that would be huge so he besides the damage he does and puts a bleed out there which is nice he causes enemy to not be able to use their active dodge that again can be massive for any against any character but especially spider-man when they build up 
towards that dodge. So I really like him. Uh, I think, especially in a group setting, in a solo setting, not as much of a fan. You there's, you can sort of get out of it and go to the other side of the map. If you're a, if you're a walker, you can dash. If you're a flyer, you can jump up and fly and sprint. All those sort of things. So. Uh, I like it, but and right now you can see it's still 1447 damage. So pretty good. And then uh, no surprise here. Uh, the new hotness in most companion PvP type fighting situation is Daredevil. Um, I do like both of his stats here for five and six stars. Accuracy, everybody can use a little accuracy. Crit damage, again, big fan of that. Skill, though, is where I really like it. So there's a slight delay in him when he goes, so you've got to think about that what he does and look at the damage here what was i 400 something with yandu i'm 700 with uh with uh, daredevil at the moment so uh though i think i might have put some leveling in him now to think about it so i'd have to look and see what the first one was but he hits like a truck um the can't dodge for a short duration but again this passive dodge and that's why i mentioned before that you might want to combo him with a Yan uh, 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 alliance mate with a yandu because if you can get those down, Spider-Man are done. Just straight up done. They can't go anywhere because they can't dodge. So you just hit them and they're super squishy. So see you later. Thanks for playing, Spider-Man. So when, if you start running into some Spider-Man problems, I would look at Daredevil. I would look at Yandu. Overall, I think you can probably use either of them in a solo situation as well. Um, Icarus, who I actually don't have on this list right now, but I use him in 1v1 and I do think he is the best for that situation i love these stats here it's a pvp situation his skill this thing hits like a massive massive truck so you know but i don't love it in group settings so that's why i didn't have him on there but um i am a big fan of his uh, i use him almost exclusively in dimensional duel and sometimes i'll even use him for group settings because he does hit hard but I haven't figured out a real great way to really decide that I like him in group settings. So right now he's a solo and this video is sort of focused more on a group setting, you know, with some drop-ins like that. You know, Nick Fury's still out there. War Machine's still out there. I'm not necessarily in love with those guys. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about the rest of these guys. There's really no point. So that's what I got. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Like I mentioned, the front end of this video check out the discord link in the description bo below let me know what you're thinking as far as companions go how is your rankings different i'd love to hear those in the comments below just give me a one through ten one through eight one through five whatever you think uh, i want to see what your rankings and give me a little why as well appreciate you for that hammer down like button click notification bell and subscribe if you like always appreciate it and until next time hope you have a wonderful day